Hello, this is Roland, Cisco Switzerland. Um, today I want to give you an update regarding the USB pass-through enablement of our Cisco WebEx devices. So new devices which have been released have a USB-C cable connected or available and USB pass-through can be used like built-in for devices like RoomKit, RoomKit Plus, RoomKit Pro, you will need some HDMI grabber device which will allow you to get the microphone and the camera onto your laptop and you also will have to send your audio and picture to the video endpoint by using an HDMI cable for example. I, I quickly want to take time on how this uh, thing actually works. So we do have our WebEx codec uh, plus here. So there's nothing new, no surprise here. So we know this device, we have the first three ports we are using as uh, HDMI inputs. So I have, in my case, a quad cam connected to it. And I could also connect a second camera to it. And on my third input port I do have uh, my laptop or my iPad connected to it in case I would like to share something via the cable. Then I have, let me quickly clear this, I have the two next HDMI ports which are output ports. So we do have a first port going to the first screen and we have a second port, which is usually going to the second screen. So in case you have a device where you use all ports already, if, in case you have a codec or a video device which where you use all ports already, then you would have to go ahead and use an HDMI grabber device. That's the device we see down here. An HDMI grabber device which has a uh, an HDMI loop. So you have a HDMI input and the same input so and the same signal as you receive, you'll also send it out. So basically you're not losing an HDMI port for your HDMI grabbing. If you have a codec where there is a still a second port or a third port available, you do not use, for example, a Codec Pro, you only use two screens, or a Codec Plus, where you only use a single screen, then you can use the simpler uh, case where you don't need a loop back, an HDMI loop back, basically, to um, connect this screen back, uh, connect the HDMI grabber back to the screen. So what we are doing here is we are um, taking the second output, HDMI output of the second screen. We put the self view basically on this. Um, we put the self view on this port and then the self view will go into the HDMI grabber device and will be like looped back to the screen up here. And at the same time, and at the same time, it will go via USB cable to the laptop. So that's uh, one thing that happens. So it's not only the video which is going this way, but also the audio you see here is also going into the HDMI grabber device, or also audio grabber device. It also has a, a loot back port and you could connect your speakers there because it is looping back the same audio as it's coming in. And also the audio is going to the um, it's going to the laptop in the end via USB here. So this covers you to grab the audio and video signal from your video endpoint. Now what you also need is you would like to use the speakers and the screen of the video endpoint. So you go ahead and connect uh, an HDMI cable here to the codec, to the third input in this case. So you can use the screen and the, um, you use the screen and the audio speakers of the, um, of the video endpoint. 
there we go so that's basically what's what's happening so it is a inogeny uh, device i'll just uh, show you the box here and do a quick kind of unpacking this little device in there which will allow you to connect your endpoint to your pc on this side uh, hdmi output where you connect your screen so you're not losing one of your screens just for this uh, usb pass-through setup this is the hdmi input where you connect your codec output to and this is the uh, power supply or power source where you power this device on the other side you have two um, audio uh, connectors so one of them is the input the other one is the output the input you need to grab your audio so you connect your uh, codec audio out to this device and this blue port here is the usb connection you will use to connect this device to your laptop let's have a look at the remaining uh, contents of this box interesting blue cable which will put um, maybe straight into the device this will later on go into your laptop so connecting this is the power cable if you would like to avoid having to have two cables um, connected to your laptop then you can also go ahead and use like one of these devices here which has a usb connector and an hdmi connector so let me go ahead and plug this in the way it has to be so i'll get up and go to my endpoint i have now looped in this hdmi grabber device and also i'm i'm powering it not with the power supply so not with this one here but i'm using the usb a output of the codec itself i thought okay i need one plug less as i have this power plug there anyways okay let's have a look on how the script finds its way to the video endpoint to get the information there is a a URL where you can join our external WebEx space for this topic. Uh, you enter that URL, you add your email address. And there we go. You open open webex and then you'll see as you see that you joined uh, a space here automatically and on top of this space there is um, pinned the location of these zip files which include all the documentation you need for this uh, for this setup to work so that's all you need let's um quickly download these zip files and have a look at them open the zip file and then i have one two three and uh, three scripts in here and i have a presentation which like guides me to how i deploy these scripts also i have the readme uh, file which actually shows which which um, devices I can use this script for. So there's two different versions. The RoomKit USB pass-through version is used for the RoomKit and the RoomKit Plus, for example. And I'll now go ahead and open this um, presentation. It explains the background, the setup, how the cabling looks like and i have then in the end here some detailed instructions on how to do this i'll quickly go through what i have to configure so i go ahead and say yeah i go to the configuration of the video section so this is here configurations then um, video is down here say so collapse all video monitor stool i already have this one set uh, next slide 
I'll decide uh, which input I use when I share my my laptop. In my case, it's uh, connector number uh, three. Number three is the PC. Is uh, connector number three HDMI. Okay, the default source would be three in this case. Okay, good. So I change that to three. Then um, go ahead, self view. I like it to be on the first monitor. And then I actually like it to be on the upper left corner. Uh, full screen mode is off, mode on. And then what I can see on when I save here, I'll, it will actually start showing the self view immediately. Uh, next step I'll do is I go ahead and load all these macros into the system. The first macro, I have the second macro and I have the third macro. Okay, um, then I'll uh, like save them all and I will turn on the first time setup macro only. So I like save this one, this one, this one, and then I make sure that you actually see what's happening here. I turn on the first time macro. There we go. Then we see the a message that it is we it is setting up. Then it also tells me that the setup is complete and I have now an additional button at the bottom left here so I can see that the script is working and the uh, or script did its job the script did its job and now it's available for use when I go in enable USB mode you'll see that the speaker the microphone is actually turning on it's turning green and on the right hand side you'll see the self view and on the left hand side you'll see whatever is um, shown from from the laptop so i can turn it back off and then it will go away let's see how this looks in action it's not the best position to to continue this but anyways then i go and plug in via USB-C the HDMI grabber device and also the additional output. Okay, there we go. So I can now choose as a as a camera, sorry, as a yeah, as a webcam, I can now choose this device here. So it's the Inogeni with its with its name and then I can go ahead and use this device as my camera and at the same time you'll see at the moment it's still the case that both screens are basically showing the content of my screen. So this can be changed by going into this enable USB pass-through mode. So I now see on one screen the self view and on the second screen I see my content I'm sharing. So let's uh, join um, a meeting. Close this one. Then I'll say start the meeting. And on my on <laughs> then on my second device, I may also be able to join this meeting okay i'm joining now this meeting and the oh okay there we go so it's now can be seen from both from both uh, ends very good so i have the self the self view on one side and the content i'm sharing on the device on the other side The idea is that I'm going into 
full screen mode and you will see on the left hand side is the content of what I'm seeing on the left hand side, on the right hand side is a self view. The camera uh, may go to sleep if you don't share anything. So the idea of this pass through mode is actually that you are sharing the, the content also on the video endpoint. Like this, the video endpoint will not go to sleep but will remain active as long as you have a cable connected to it. So you'll see that the call is now ongoing and the device is not falling asleep even though you're not using the actual, like say, call function of the device. You're using the device as a USB pass through device. That was for a WebEx meeting. Let's see if we can set up, uh, if we can verify this on something else. Let's have a look at the, at the Zoom client. Okay, we have the Zoom client here. And then we go into settings and we can see, okay, it is using the quad cam in speaker tracking mode. I'll see how it works with the Google Meet application. Settings button up here. And I can go ahead and see like, okay, audio, I wanna use the microphone of the Inogeni and as a speaker, I want to use my codec plus and as a video, I want to use my InnoGeni device, which it does nicely. And I can actually um, and it will do some speaker tracking here as well. And there we go. I'm sitting back uh, here. Plus, you may also see it's like adding all the camera features and functionality, meaning like speaker tracking or the, the name underneath the, um, the device. It's all showing nicely without any problems. Very good. So I have been testing now for a few minutes the setup and we have seen that it's not, uh, yeah, the device did not go asleep. We have seen that I have the self view on one hand on one side and the um, content on the other side of the screen, the content during a session will not, will be the content you are sharing from your laptop screen, but your laptop screen will also be the, the meeting actually. So therefore you see the meeting on the video endpoint and that's what it should be. So let me turn back off the USB pass through note mode so we are back in uh, content sharing so both screens are used for content sharing thank you very much for watching i hope it was of help and uh, yes looking forward to see you in my next video please subscribe and press the notification button and yeah hope to see you soon thank you bye bye